Budman Industries is one part creative studio, one part machine shop, and we basically invent and make our own 3D printers. We were sort of tipped off about COVID-19 a little bit earlier than most Americans. Um, we source about 20% of our uh, 3D printers, our, our raw materials from China. And early in February, some of our electronics suppliers told us, hey, the factories are closed down. That's when we sort of realized that this thing was going to be coming. We were following it in the news and we started to see the PPE shortages. And when our county executive here in Onondaga County, uh, Ryan McMahon, announced that there would be a test center opening, uh, we thought, hey, you know, I bet we could donate something um, because most of the resources have to go to the major cities. Um, maybe we could do something to help here. So we put our heads together and we looked at different personal protective equipment and we saw the shields and we thought that that was a good candidate for 3D printing. So we actually designed the file ourselves. We did about six prototypes on, um, I would say, two weeks ago Sunday, and we made sure that it fit perfectly on all size head shapes. We started off making 50. We contacted our county executive. Uh, we said, hey, we have 50 face shields. He said, great, can you make 300 more? Um, we said, of course, we can definitely do that. So we ramped up production. And then once we dropped off um, the first 50, we had a whole flood of emails and messages, calls and texts from twofold. People who have 3D printers and are willing to help produce, and also the healthcare workers and people on the front lines saying, we are in dire need of these face shields. Can we get some? So we are printing face shields for our locality, for Onondaga County, for upstate New York. And then we're also connecting all of these people with 3D printers who are making with healthcare workers and um, first responders. We have had a, a few hospitals and first responders respond back and said, awesome job, we're using them. And it just warms our heart. Our situation locally um, has changed pretty dramatically in the last three days. Um, we, we had the Syracuse Soundstage step in with their 50,000 square foot facility. American High offered to organize volunteers. We now have a team of about 15 volunteers jumping in their cars and driving them off to wherever they need to be. If there are more folks out there who are in need or more folks who are out there willing to produce, um, please register because the more folks that we can get connected, uh, the more folks that we can get these shields in the hands of.